Hi guys, Henry here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't mind the mic. I'm actually feeling lazy to set up the, the mic system or put a lav mic on myself. So I'll be doing this and I'm trying something where I try to talk relaxed. I don't rush through my videos. Either way, today we'll be talking about the Redmi Band. Yeah, the Redmi Band or some um, regions they call it the Redmi Band 4C or something. I have the Chinese variant, but then I'm not talking about the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about this. So, yeah. And this is by no means a review or something. It's just my thoughts and my impressions of using it for about a week or a little bit over a week. If you want a full review of it, I'm going to leave a link to a video by Xiaomi in the description below so that you can check them out. Either way, let's get into the video. Okay, so like I said in my intro, the variant I have here is a Chinese variant. But then with that said, anything I say about this still applies with the global variant or the global version. I think that one goes by the name Renry Band 4C or something like that. I'm just going to write it on the display. To start using this, you need a Xiaomi account and the Xiaomi Wear app if you're using Android and then the Xiaomi Wear Lite app if you're using iOS and you just connect it. So when you are going through the setup, because this is a Chinese variant, you just have to set your region to China. If you use any other location, it won't work. I, I don't know why, but then it just won't work and it doesn't change the language to Chinese or something. It just needs you to set the region to China, which I don't understand why, but like, yo, it is what it is. As long as or as far as features goes, it's just here to keep you or help you keep track of your exercise and calories you've burnt, amount of steps you've taken, and probably your sleep, because in the app and on, on this, it shows a sleep tracker thing. I've still not been able to get a way to get it working, but then, yeah, it does that. So if you are really into that, you can also use it. But then as a plus feature, you can use it to, um, keep track of your notifications and then calls and stuff. So for me, you can actually turn it on and off in the app. So for me, I have it turned on for my WhatsApp Messenger, Telegram, Instagram, yeah, plenty grams, <laughs> my Gmail app, and then my messages app. So anytime I get notifications from these apps, I just get the vibration on my watch or on my band. It's funny I keep saying watch because the only other smart wearable thing or wrist wearable thing I've used was my Apple Watch, which I love very much. And naturally, because that was the only other wearable band I have used, I was comparing this to that, which is actually not right to do because they are not in the same market or the same competing thing. Yes, the Apple Watch has some fitness tracking feature. And yes, this band also has some smartwatch features like sending you notifications and everything but then they are not for like the same market if you want something that you can use to um, track your health and everything you can get this okay so features this can last in water is water resistant or waterproof okay it's not waterproof it's just water resistant so you can use it to swim or use it in the rain and it will still work it just has one button on the screen that makes it a bit way easier to navigate which sometimes might be a problem for me but like yo it works so i don't have to complain one thing i would say i don't like about this is the way it charges you just have to take or you have to take one of the bands off the one closer to the home button you just take it off and then you get the usb port that you can plug it into your wall socket or charger head or something which lately doesn't come in some phone cases or boxes but then, yeah, I don't like it because anytime you are removing it, it's a struggle. And it feels like it's going to break. The first time I was removing it, I thought I was going to break this thing. So I had to go and check on other YouTube channels. And that's how I found the Xiaomi Fi thing explaining it. It sucks. Like, I feel they could have done better, like maybe MagSave or something, but then they chose that. So yeah, it takes two hours to charge completely and then it lasts for 14 days. But if you're using it the way I use it, like as a notification hub or something, you can get 14 days. You can get at least 10 days or 12 days or something. You can get 14 days. And it's actually okay for people who want to 
track their fitness or whatnot. So at the end of the day, if you are into tracking your fitness, you can actually get this. It's very inexpensive and then it gets the work done. But then if you're like me and you're used to using a smartwatch with all apps and all that kind of stuff, you shouldn't get this. Like, yeah, it's actually good, but you shouldn't get it. And on also, I just remember it. One issue that I have with this is the fact that anytime I get a notification from an app, it just writes app, then puts it in the blue circle and then they write the app's name. Like what happened to putting the app's logo on your wrists like you i know you can download the apps on your wrist but then having it here would have been cool and also the fact that anytime i get emojis and the message preview on the watch or on the band doesn't show the kind of emojis i get sent no matter how simple the emoji is it's just it's just sad i don't know this can be fixed in a software update but like looking at how things are going i don't think I should be looking forward to a software update. But then yeah, at the end of the day, I recommend it to anyone who wants to buy it. Either way, thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm actually left with the shout outs I mostly give on my channel. And I don't know if it's a bad thing that I actually have to go and check in the app to see who were the first people to comment on my channel or my video, my previous video. So the first person is Dave Tech. Yeah, Dave Tech. <laughs> and then um, Richie Tech. Why? Why is these two people having tech in their names? But then, yeah, a big shout out to Dave Tech and Richie Tech for being the first two people to comment on my previous video. If you want to get shout outs on my videos, you know what to do. And also, at the point of making this video or shooting this video or probably uploading this video, I have three more subscribers left to reach 300 subscribers so it would be really cool if you could share this to three of your friends to subscribe to my channel that's only if they will enjoy the content or they enjoy tech youtube videos so yeah see you guys in the next one